I didn't know what Dude, we were getting. I'm, I'm but now. like this, bro. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I was like, damn, he's really loving it. Good morning, everyone. This is Aye. David Hoffman from David's <laughs> Bend here in LA with Wade Holland. What up? Adventure dude. travel personality. Let's go. We just met. We're here in the <laughs> Pinata District. We're at Olympia Market. This is like a Mexican street food mm. market. They also have Salvadorian food. I dude, smell it. I you, smell are you it, ready brother. For this, dude? dude, welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> We're going to bring you some flavor. I feel it. I smell it. I'm excited, man. I'm excited, too. We're going to eat some tacos. We're going to eat some babusas. We're going to have some juices. Yes. We're going to have like yes. five spots. It's 9 in the morning. This place is open every single day. Starts around 8.30. Mm -hmm. Get here early. Come hungry. Let's go. Eat all day. All day right here. All day. David stays here. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Buenas. Que tal? Como estas? Dude, you've never been here, right? Never been here, man. I hadn't even heard of the Pinata District until you mentioned it. There's so many different components of LA, and that's what makes the city so beautiful, is you discover new things all the time. There's the Toy District right over there, which is obviously a bunch of toys and kind of unique little games. This, obviously the Pinatas, take a look. Yeah, the Mexican culture is just on point here, because you just, listen. La Musica. Big shout out to my friend Steve Cha, Rockstar Eater, for recommending this place. Amazing, thank you so much. We're gonna eat right here, carnitas. Yeah. Oh gosh, this is the spot, dude. Wow. Okay. Okay. Amigo, how are you? Listo. I'm gonna comer. You had carnitas before. I right? had carnitas before. I'm looking at that because is that what is that? That's um. So basically, carnitas is pork. No, no, but, but that specifically. Oh, that, that's a stomach. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I thought. Yeah, so they have okay. stomach, intestines, face, yeah. everything. Yeah, that's what I thought. Everything. I was like, that looks like stomach. I think I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. We use all the parts. We use uterus. You do, we use okay. Stomach, nuts. We use okay. everything. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what do we order? Dos tacos. <laughs> See, I was. Ooh. Let, let's do mix. Let's do mix. We're mixing it up. Okay, handmade tortilla or regular tortilla? Uh, what do you suggest? I think handmade is better. It's okay. corn. Just the juice is rolling, man. So they have two different styles, right? So handmade tortillas, obviously corn, right? And they have the ones that are ready. So it's $4 for the handmade, $3 for the regular, and we're gonna do a mix, right? The mix is what? The mix is carnitas? The, and no, the, the mix is carnitas, but it, carnitas is basically everything. So you have okay. intestines, stomach, face. Okay. You have that, every piece of the body okay, of, okay, of, okay, of the, of okay, the animal. Okay, okay. Oh, look at that, super juicy. I love it in this huge vat. No? Let's go in here for spice. Come on, David, let's get it. I love this. So they have seating in the back, right? Yeah, Beautiful. And we have some spice. We have some, I guess it's like some okay, guacamole or algo así. Yes. Yes. garlic, right? All right, so what do we sit right here? Right here. This is amazing. All right, here we go, carnitas. I love this. One of the most delicious things ever from Mexican cuisine, right? Mm -hmm. So we have the corn tortilla and then we have every single piece mm -hmm. of the pork, right? So we have like intestine, we have stomach, we have mm -hmm. meat. Mm -hmm. What else we have? We have some skin in there. Yep. And then next to it, we have some of the toppings, right? So we have uh, onion, red onion. Yep. We have, so this is like a mixed salad, right? So we have cilantro, we have lemon. Oh, we're bringing them all right, bring oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, so what? <laughs> jalapenos. Jalapenos. <laughs> jalapenos. What do you think? Ooh, a 9 a.m. jalapeno. What do you think about that? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Going in. Wakes me up, man. I like it, dude. Mm -hmm. The great thing about this is, like you said, it's all day, right? All day. So come at 9 a.m., come at 9 p.m. Uh, oh, so, oh, so always fresh, so they finish when the food finishes, basically. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then we have some spice here. So Ooh. we're gonna add some of this stuff on top, right? You wanna go, okay, you you what, what, what's your what's your call here? I don't know a ton about taco culture, but one thing I do know is keep it simple. I think you keep it simple, get the flavor of the meat, that's most important. So for me, it's like a little bit of onion in here. I'm going just onion, lime, and that should do it, man. Like, I'm not gonna go a little bit more lime. Red chili for David. You're going red, I'm going green. Let's do Christmas, Feliz Navidad. Exactamente. <laughs> <laughs> I like spice all day, man. Yeah, you want to do another jalapeno? Yeah, hit me with a jalapeno, man. Hit you with it? Mmm. 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 Jalapeno isn't so bad. Habanero? Killer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Like I'm good with jalapenos, but when we start doing like certain spices, like the ghost peppers, Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you start melting. You know, you feel it in your eyes. It's if too it, much. Like if the spice is just painful, don't enjoy it. Don't enjoy it. If the spice is like a little bit warm, but I can still taste what the spice is, Awesome. I'm all about that. I'm cool if it sweats a little bit, but I can't be like crying. Oh, that's me, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm red. I'm red. I'm, red. <laughs> I'm just going in. I'm like, okay, what am no, I going to Let's do it, bro. It's you big. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's mm. massive, dude. Oh, man. This is a big boy. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Cheers, Three, bro. two, one, go. Mm hmm. Mm. Jam. So juicy, right? Mm hmm. I like it. It's a nice softer to you. Not too hard. Mm hmm. Mm. The corn tortilla was the way to go, man. Yeah, exactly. And not too many toppings, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel that red chili. Mm -hmm. Nice red chili spice. This is insane. I'm gonna give a little bit more green. Mm -hmm. Oh, hit me with some. Want some green? Mm -hmm. I know you said you like spice. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, spice all day, bro. But see, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, sometimes I think if you throw a lot of different condiments onto the taco, mm -hmm. you lose, like, I mean, that's right off that grill right there, man. I know, man. Oh, so fresh, so good. Mm. Mm. Damn, dude. Everything's falling out. Tacos. This is my love language, man. Mm -hmm. You're speaking to me with this. Man. I don't care what time of day it is, I'll eat this all day. People ask me, what's your favorite cuisine? I'm like, look, I love Indian. I love Mediterranean. Mexican. You know Mexican food is UNESCO food. Mm. As UNESCO World Heritage, like food. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like one of the only ones in the world. Crazy. Yeah, because it's like so amazing. Damn, okay. Oh, dude, cheers. One last bite. One last bite, bro. Wow. Really, for me, I'm talking about the organs. <laughs> Intestine, liver, kidney. All of it. Brain, all that stuff. It just makes everything so juicy. It does, it does, it does, it does. I mean, the, the meat just like explodes because you can see it. Just like, look at that, dude. See it. Mm. <laughs> I'll get another jalapeno. <laughs> but you're right, man. Like, I'm used to just eating carnitas of just like one kind of meat. Yeah. That was new for me. The mix. Of like the mixed kind of meats oh. in there. Yeah, I was in Phoenix uh, like four months ago. Had carnitas. Okay. Same thing, dude. Mm -hmm. Mind blowing. Damn. Like, so good. That was really good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. My skin, nice and juicy. Like, almost like gelatin, right? It is. It is. Amiga, increíble. Increíble. Delicioso todo. <laughs> I guess we'll go hit up some more spots. Keep going, <laughs> man. Keep going. Keep it moving. Go Jalapenos, man. Ooh, get a little carrot. <sighs> yeah. All right, guys. So I'm getting in here with the carnitas. Got to put the gloves on. I'm going to basically move this massive vat. All the juices. So that is basically all juices from the animal, right? So from the pork. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Look, it just broke. <laughs> This thing is so hot right now. So what they do is they put the meat back down, all the organs back down, and then they pull it back up and it like basically absorbs all that juice. Then they cut it up, put it on tortilla, and you eat it like we just did. Look, guys, I'm just gonna yeah, move not juice. it a little bit. And then just grab one of these. Boilo. Yeah, just grab one. Oh, it's heavy. Whoa, don't drop it. So you just dunk it down like that. Let it soak up, right? And that's what makes carnitas so good. Every single piece. Don't get regular carnitas, just the meat. Yeah, get yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Organs, skin, and meat. Amiga, gracias. Muy amable. Gracias. Gracias a ustedes. So Guadalupe is too nice. She's not letting us pay. Just so you guys know, it's four dollars, right? Cuatro para yeah. for that one, right? So four for the hand tortilla, three for the lesser one. Get the mix. Get the mix for sure. Amiga, gracias. Yes. Gracias por todo. Yeah. Thank you. No, you're the best. You're the best. Who goes allá? Who goes? Who goes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. literally right next door we have a, a juice lady. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Thank you. She's the Dude, she's the tour guy. She's taking it from spot to spot. We yeah. found the person yeah. to do this with. Hola, mía, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Muy bien. What do we drink thank here? You. No, Guadalupe, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Gracias por todo. Yeah. Muy amable, muy amable. Yeah. Naranja, y este es, es beach, no? Ah, naranja, let's do, let's do naranja. Naranja, see, sí, see, sí. orange juice. Orange juice, pure orange juice, like the best, right? I don't drink orange juice anywhere if it's not like this, pure. Dude, Miami doesn't even do it this good. Come on, man, no, this man. is where it's at right here. What's funny is that we have oranges. Dos oranges, dos jugos? Eh, si, dos jugos, you want? Yeah, let's get two. Of course, we do. Love that. 
Okay. Ah, sí, allá. Ahí están haciendo comida. Pero ¿qué hay ahí? ¿Pupusas? No, hay pupusas, hay todo. Hay todo. Sí. Increíble. Dale, dale, pasan por ahí. Yeah, so he's telling me there's pupusas over here, there's a lot of mixes, right? So we're gonna go there after. Gracias, amigo, gracias. Muy amable. Mangos, mangos. <laughs> Smell it. I think oh. orange is just glistening in the air right now. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, the aroma coming out of there, I mean, it's just like wow. Smell it. Fragrance, yeah, yeah. It's nice and fresh, right? It's like we're in an orange orchard right now. Right? Let's smell it. Okay, this is Gracias. Gracias. A mí, ¿cuánto debo? Nada. Nada, no. So it's not charging us? This is ridiculous. This is this is the true hospitality though of like this culture, man. Like you were just talking to me about this where like the Mexican culture is the most hospitable culture that I think you can have just because like two out of two people are not letting us pay, which is ridiculous. And we are gonna pay for this, but the fact that they're just so hospitable is man it it's what this that's what this is about. Like coming out here, not just the food, like this is amazing, but it's this interaction right now. It's the people. The people man. Alright, so we have nowhere to drink this juice. So we're doing it right here on the street. Love that dude. Lunch Orange juice, and apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What do you think? You tell you tell me. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, so refreshing, right? This is what I need. It's like a palate cleanser, right? Mm -hmm. Especially after that, all those juices, you know, you get all that in your mouth. Mm. Dude, I, I love the, I love orange juice with pulp. You like pulp? I mean, you got that. No pulp, it's not real, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, it, any type of juice, whenever I go to hotels, mm. they have juices, right? Yeah, exactly. The I don't juice drink machine? That. Yeah. Know. On them, man. <laughs> That's like straight, like, and it's a lot of sugar. Yeah. This is not. This is pure. This is. Dude, that pulp, I'm telling you, once you hit that, you're like, this is the real deal. This ain't no juice machine, man. That's for sure. This, not, this ain't no grocery store juice. <laughs> no way. And so each one of these costs $3, which I think is a, it's a good deal because obviously this is America. This is not in the streets of Mexico, right? No, no, no. no. But you said it, man. Like, going from that spot to this spot, get the flavor of the carnitas. This does kind of like clean, it, like cleanse the palate. Exactly. And it kind of like refreshes you for like more food. I think that's how you'd want to do this, is like have a juice to mix it up, then get some more food as you move down the lane. And I'm done. I need to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> My boy here can talk. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I'm just yapping, dude. I need more juice in. So right across the street, we have a lot of vendors, a lot of food over there. Let's do that, right? Dude, it's so much, like. It's too much. Juice, food, pinatas, juice, food, pinatas. It just goes, it and, goes. And it's only one block, right? I know, it's one block. And our first place, that, uh, they're open every day except Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, they said that, they said that. Tuesdays. Okay. Yeah, this is amazing, man. I just love like the whole ambiance of this whole thing, right? Oh. Like you come in here, the smells, the sights, the sounds. It's kind of crazy too to think that like, if you just put yourself in this spot, you would maybe not even know you're in Los Angeles, exactly. right? That's what I was gonna say, like it really feels like you're in a different world. Uh -huh. Muy amable. Gracias. Thank you so much. Gracias. All right. So we're crossing. <laughs> I'm like, Whoo. here we go. Here we go. Emulated, man. Like, my God. There you go. Got it. Otra vez. Otra vez. Otra vez. They're too funny here. So they have uh, so many <laughs> toppings here. They have different tacos. They have these, which is amazing. Wow. So it's called tacos dorados, right? So they grow tacos, they're fried, and inside there's chicken. ¿Cuánto cuesta cada uno de estos? Ah, eso. Ah, okay, okay. So it's seven dollars for three. Oh, okay. I mean, do we need three? Dude, I think we need three of these first off. You were looking at some jalapenos. Here's the real deal. Y esos. Voy a comer uno de esos. I got you. All I asked right. him, he's going in. Get it. Ooh. What do you think? Not so hot. Not so hot. It's more like juicy. Mmm. Yummy. A little charred. I like it. Get all of it. Yeah, <laughs> No, it's habanero. See, jalapeno, it's okay. Habanero. Different, different level. Story. You just melt, you know? I would have another one. Wow. Yeah, I like it, dude. Bueno. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Lo, lo metemos con salsas. Salsa, lechuga. What's it? Gracias, amiga. Gracias. Okay. Here we go, bro. Bueno. Okay. Do you oh, want wait, it? wait. We have to get some sauces, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm 
I'm, I'm already just trying to go in, man. You feed me this, I'm going in. Okay, so what do we think here? This is something that I'm actually not really sure which ones to choose. Just because um, I would go, I would go like. Some I of think the you greens. should get some of those and just put them on the side and we dip, right? Okay, cool, dipping. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, just dip, dip. A little green there. Perfect. Let's get some red on the side. All right, so this taco lado, so it's basically like a fried taco mm -hmm. inside. It's stuffed and it, and with what's the chicken. chicken. Yeah, yeah okay, chicken. Okay. And then we just dip it into some of these sauces, right? So we have like a hot chili, a red, so green chili, red chili, and then this is guac, right? Okay, guac, red, green. Which so one do you want? I think I'm gonna do a double. Are you a double? Well, I, I just, are you going red? You're mixing. Mix that. You're dangerous. I love it. Everybody's like, what are these guys doing? <laughs> Very country. Mm. So it's like a country show. Rolled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the guac? Think that was the move? I think that was the move. I think we try this one too, though. Mm -hmm. Hueso. Got a bone. Mm. Lucky you. <laughs> Crunchy, chicken's on point. That's a little spicier for some reason. I think the guac, which, which one was that? I'm trying to think what we had here. This was the guac and the greens. The greens hot. It's hot. Yeah. I'm tasting that, I'm like, was that the guac? Oh, did I finish this, right? I yeah. love the chicken, right? It's like pulled chicken. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The crispy's nice. Adds a fun little texture to it. Mmm. Oh, wow. <clears throat> to be honest. You're mixing it up, I like I it. Just, I just love it. I'm in awe with this food, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good, so tasty. Can't go wrong with Mexican food. You can't, man. Not in Los Angeles. Like I said, man, it's like simple, affordable. That's super important too. Like that's I think why I love Mexican food so much is because it's like so obtainable for everyone. And I mean, like what was that? It was two bucks, three bucks? We said it there. So that one is like four, four three, three, and this one will be um, seven dollars for three of them. So this is probably like five bucks. Amazing, dude. We've had two meals for five bucks. I know, right? I mean, that, that's the best thing about this city. You know, compared to Miami, we don't have street food in Miami. Oh, I didn't so, know. That. So you can't eat like they can't eat street food. I mean, yeah, you have a few things in a window, but not like street food. You know? Yeah. There's a lot. I mean, I would say like LA is a street food city, man. Like, there's so much. Not just Mexican, but like across Everything. the city. Yeah. You got Korean. Yeah. You got Chinese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything. Thai. A little Thai down. A little hot. I know. I'm yeah. feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> that green dude, you mixed it up. I didn't know what dude, we were I'll, getting. I like this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, he's really loving it. A little different, right? This is like an open air restaurant. Yeah. You have some seating here. You have another yeah. place behind us. You have live music. You have the pinatas in front, and then you have these like little. Cool. I think I'm gonna buy one of those for my kids. Okay, cool. I mean, look at the artwork on this. I know. Cool. Let's go see that. You're done. You're done. I'm done, dude. I feel good. I mean, maybe I'll look at that. No, I'm not looking. No. Nah, <laughs> I'm not looking. Go. Go. I mean, you just gave us this the on the fly. Pastor? Pastor, taco de pastor. See, sí, taco de pastor, which is basically another version of um, grilled pork. Grilled pork? Ah, yes. So, another version that they do it in grilled pork. What would you suggest? Uh, yeah. Aquí. Okay, okay, so we're going from here. Cilantro. Cilantro. Verde, sí, sí, verde. verde. Es más picante, ¿no? Más picante. Limón. Limón. Ah, bueno, bueno, bueno. Están listos uno. Está buenísimo, buenísimo. Se ve en la cara, ¿no? I mean, listen, maybe. Uh, you know what, dude? I'll share it. I'll share it with you, bro. Oh, I have to, I have to. Stack. Oh, man, it's dripping out. Mm. It's a lot, right? That was like so much in one bite. So different. So different. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot in there, dude. We have salsa, we had onions, we had cilantro, we had limon. We had everything versus before, it was just the meat, you know? Oh, spicy? Yeah, yeah. I love love the show, not too crunchy this one. But the best part was like, it came out of nowhere. He I came out of left field and just said, hey, this is for you. That's Mexican hot dude, right I'm there. I'm telling you, that is where it's at. I'm getting hot, man. I <laughs> love it. Ah! They're all calling me, they're like, gringo, ven back up. Amigo, gracias, gracias. Muy amable. Gracias. Okay. ¿Qué son estos? ¿Qué son estos? Estos son uh, para para micheladas. ¿Te puedes preparar micheladas? Ah, para micheladas. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tequila. Oh. Yes. Dude, micheladas. This is where it's at. So I've been taking a break from alcohol, but you know what? Maybe I'll try one. Have you ever had a michelada? I've had. I've had. Okay. Okay. Go. 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 Yeah, micheladas is like a. I mean, when I think of Los Angeles drink, like micheladas, man. 
I mean, funny thing about at least my love for this is like coming from Montana, they have a thing called a red beer, and it's basically like a white person's michelada. It's basically like uh, a light beer, and then it's just Clamato juice into it. So a michelada is a much more advanced version of that, but growing up in Montana, I was very used to this red beer. So when I came out to Los Angeles and I heard of michelada, I was like, oh man, this is similar to like a white boy's red beer. And then I tasted it, I'm like, this is amazing. So let's get into micheladas. So there's a michelada. You can get it in three different sizes. 12 for this one, then it's 15 for this one, which is plain. And I'm going with one of these because why not, right? Souvenir. So $20 for this one. That's amiga. Wow. Look at this. Incredible. With a shrimp on the side. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's a mix of like spices. You got beer in here, Modelo, right? Mm, you got the lime. Whoa. Nice salt, too. Oh, that's good. What's different about this michelada, do you think? I don't know, bro. I barely eat drinking micheladas. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing, though, dude. Right? You got it. Like, yeah, right. Amiga, gracias. Let's drink it. Boom! Last time I had one of these was, I was, was when I was in Chiapas, Mexico, and this looks pretty much identical to that. Beautiful display. A lot going on here with the shrimp, with the tajin, um, and obviously the modelo and the clamato. Let's try it. Mm, and the stick too, man. If you love the taste, it's amazing. I do love this because it kind of adds into the drink too. Take a bite of that. All about it. It's been, it's a light spice too. It's not like your mouth's on fire. It's not hot. It just adds a little bit more flavor to them. And they also do it with tequila if you want. Yeah, the guy did sell tequila, exactly. I'm gonna have a shrimp. Ice cold. You, me, you like it? Maybe you want some of this? Yeah, I guess I'll try it. Good time. Okay, there, there you go. Mm, so I think that's, I think that's a. It's like a. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's like a, a, a chamula, uh, not chamula. Yeah, it's like a sticky spice. I know. I, I can't remember the name. It's a little salty chamula. too. So the tahini that they put on the rim here. Mm -hmm. When you have the tahini on the rim, that's part of the spice too. Like you can straight up lick it. Mm. And it's just like adds a little bit more flavor to it. And then drink, again, adds just a little bit more flavor to the beer with the Clamato juice in it. Mm. Yeah, so this is like a super light spice beer, right? It's big though. She threw two beers in there. It's enough for both of us, right? Basically to have a beer. Oh yeah, lick this, right? Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Yeah, if you want to go really strong, go with tequila. We're taking it easy. We're not even going to drink the whole thing. I'm good with this. I just love it. A little vase, right? <laughs> this is for my daughters. That is awesome. A little souvenir from Los Angeles. Okay, chill. And then I'm good with this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, gracias. Delicioso todo esto. Ah, eso es increíble. Estás hermoso. Sí. Sí, mi amor. Ay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, cheese, I love it. Cheese, only cheese. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Sí. All right, so right here, the next vendor has pupusas, so Salvadorian food. I love pupusas, so good. Two? Let's get two, let's okay, get two. Okay, Si, si, gracias. Muy amable, muy linda, tú. I'm a charmer. It's a charmer, I knew this. Hey, right man, it's the only way. Okay, so here we have the pupusa, right? So the way it works is a little different. So basically, they put cheese inside. It's inside, it's inside. Right, so it's a corn, almost like a corn, I wouldn't say sandwich, but very similar. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly, exactly. You said the cheese inside of it, and then we got all the condiments back here with the salsas, correct? Awesome, so let's add some. Dude, I'm going straight here, I think. I think that's the move. Yeah? Yeah. Boom, dude. You want some of that too? Yeah, I'll have some of that on the side, maybe. You know, for me, I gotta go with some spice, right? So I'll add probably one of these. Yeah, hit it. Uh, maybe on the side, right? I'm gonna do everything on the side because if not, I'm gonna be overwhelmed with the food. Yeah. So we have like some coleslaw here, some cabbage salad, right? You have a uh, what? On the side? Or no? No. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. What okay, else? Okay. Maybe with this one. This is like a spicy one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. How you doing, bro? Good? Doing good. Hungry? Hungry. You're very hungry. Oh, man, me too. Is it picante or no? Picante. Do you want a little? Dame uno, dame uno. Eso. Like this. 
Wow, look. another surprise. Oh my gosh, look at that. Surprise. Look at the piñata. Holy this shit. guy is a piñata. Oh my god. What's happening? Taquitos gorditas. Okay, so this is quesadilla Lucy. Originales, right? Las originales. Perfect. So they have all the condiments here. They have all the stuff over there. So they have a mix. They have pupusas. They have some chili, some hot dogs. Okay, so sit down. Let's eat. Yeah, perfect, dude. I love it. Oh, dude. It's like Christmas themed. Feeling in the spirit. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get some Christmas salsa because of that. <laughs> Pupusa. So it's basically a round corn cake. Yeah. You know, this is El Salvadorian or Salvadorian food. I've been to El Salvador. I had so many of these. They're delicious. So sometimes stuff with cheese. Yeah. Sometimes meat. This one with cheese. And we got on the side some guac, some, some uh, spice, and. Going in, dude. Even in the Halloween, is like a madman today. I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. Okay. You ready? I'm going in on some guac. Oh, I love it. Guac. Yeah, they're, they, they're like a, almost like a flatbread, right? Three, two, one, my friend. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. The cheese. Mm hmm. Oh, spicy. The guac was. Mm. Yeah. I'm a fan of the guac. Yeah. Oh. So good. This is really filling. Oh my god, this is cheese, dude. Anyway. Yeah. Oh god, you're right. They're definitely thicker than I thought. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of deceiving because it looks like a little, it's a little flatbread. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, there's maybe just like a little bit of cheese dripping with cheese, man. Well, I think it's like a, almost like a stuffed, like a stuffed flatbread. Mm -hmm. So I always say it because if you see it right here, mmm, so good. Pupusa. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah! That white cheese. The white cheese and chili. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Damn, so good, so good. So I like it. It's a little, little like. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> oh yeah. <coughs> oh, come on now, don't die me yet. So a little crispy on the outside, right? A little doughy. Then you have the cheese melted throughout. Mm -hmm. mm, then you add some spice. How, oh. how do you do with dairy? The dairy, some people... Some people get affected, yeah. I'm actually, I think I'm at lactose intolerant. Oh, I totally am. I like, I've, <laughs> I've started taking these little lactate pills um, anytime I know I'm gonna eat cheese. So I ate one this morning because I was like preparing. Mm -hmm. um, but some people like just drink milk, eat cheese, no problem. Other people get destroyed off it, so I'm curious. Yeah, for me, you know, I try to limit my cheese and my uh, my milk, you know, limit the hell out of it. Because I know, like, I'll have a stomach, so I take Pepto to help me, right? But, you know. Good, huh? Yummy. That's good, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. For a treat. Mm. That's about that. Oh, yeah. Mm. You've been going off on the jalapenos, bro. I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so good. They're not too spicy. They're really, really big, though. Which one's been your favorite one? That one was probably the biggest one you had. That was awesome. Hola, que tal? So this vendor's selling the rosary. Mm -hmm. So a lot of vendors around here. Woo! It's getting hot. It's, it's spicy, dude. There's oh. a little bit more spice that than you would think. You know what I was gonna say? Amiga, tienen horchata. Horchata, oh, eh? Oh, yeah. Si, si tienen horchata. You want one? Dos. Dos? Yeah, you get the horchata. His horchata, man. Basically, yeah, like the cinnamon and the milk and the... Or it's not milk, it's just like a... It is kind of a rose con leche though. I don't know how to describe this. So horchata, so it, yeah, it is like a... It's a, it's a sweet drink, man. Mm, the cinnamon, right? Yeah. Mm. But it's not thick, you know? Not thick. So it's more watered down, lots of cinnamon. So yeah. it's a rice water, there's actually no rice in here. No. I've had it with rice. So. Oh, you have? Yeah. So you like taste like, it's like boba or something? Or not boba, but it's like, has like <coughs> little particles? Like a little grains. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> no. Don't die this year, good lord! Oh my Come gosh, on. what a day. What a day, awesome. Good stuff, man. I love it, man. This is another palate cleanser, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of spice, cleanse your palate, keep going. I think that's the good. key to all this, man, is like hit the food, then get like the orange juice, get some food, get the horchata, get some food, get the michelada. It's like you kind of keep flipping it, then you can get more food. Yeah. You're jumping around, right? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I feel good. Bro, this is delicious. I don't know how I can finish this, maybe I have one more bite, one more bite. Go in. And that is it. Amazing Boom. Mexican street food slash Salvadorian street food here in the Piñata District. What an epic place. Olympia Market, right? Olympia Market, dude, exactly. Right down here, downtown Los Angeles. 
Wow. Stuff like a pinata. Stuff Woo! like a pinata. What did you, what'd you enjoy the most? Dude, Carnitas, the first spot. I think that was the best. I think it was the best. And what was her name again? Um, Guadalupe. 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 There it is. Guadalupe. She was amazing, man. She was Guadalupe, amazing. Guadalupe, the hospitality she showed right away was just like, it was a welcome to what this is all about. Exactly. And guys, please follow my boy right here, Yo. Wayne Holland, the king of stoke. Yes! Dude, this food got me stoked. I Usually, know, like, the adventure stuff gets me stoked, but, like, this food got me a little bit more stoked than normal, so. <laughs> oh, man. It, dude. I love it. I love it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And wow, more carnitas right here. Hey, like I said, like I said, you're done. Are you done? Oh, right. it's still this bubbling. Is where it all started. It started right here, and then it took us into basically the land of Oz. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Love this guy. Thank you, bro. Yeah. I'll see you again. Yeah, yeah. I'll see right, this guy so. again, man. This is super awesome. Pumped, bud. I love it. Thanks, bro. I laid the best.